Today is a shelter day. These days are bittersweet because we go in to try to help the shelters decompress and take a lot of their cats, as many as we can, but it also is very sad because we can't take them all. Um, so that is very, very hard. Um, the town shelters by us lately, we know that a good majority, if not all of them, are completely packed, completely full of cats, probably dogs too. Um, but we know for a fact that there has been some boarding situations and other nightmares that there's just too many cats and not enough people. Um, so we are going to try to take as many as we can. We've had a lot of adoptions lately, luckily. So uh, we are able to take a good amount. Um, not as much as we want. It's really, really hard to take as many as we want. Um, and it's hard to pick also because you go in and everyone's reaching out of their cages and they want you to take them and you know they'd be easy adoptions and you could find them good homes but it's really really hard because you can't take them all so that being said we also like to take a mixture of cats so the cats that are scared or extra sad and sitting in the back of their cage and they don't want human human contact and they they're in their litter box we really want to take some of them too and, and try to help them you know become happier come out of their shells a little bit um, try to really work with them so we're going to try to take a good balance of the two um, scared and sad and the happy ones that um, we know will be adopted fast a lot of people are against going to shelters to adopt and i'm not totally sure why um, sometimes when we don't have, you know, the right cat for somebody, we tell them, go visit, you know, this town shelter or that town shelter. And they're always like, no, we don't want to go there. It's so sad and it's so horrible. And But that's all the more reason to go, I feel. Um, sad and horrible. I, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, it's sad to see that these cats all need homes and they're all in cages. But the shelter workers are amazing. They love the cats so much. They know them in and out. They know where they came from, what they would do best with, um, what environments they wouldn't do well with, um, what their histories are. They know their health. You know, they're amazing. So I say if you if you are looking to adopt, definitely stop by a town shelter and, you know, give the cats some time. You know, maybe it's a little harder to see their personalities than it would be at the cat cafe. But um, it is also good to go there and get them out of there. Um, because, of course, no one likes to see animals in cages and um, know that there is a possibility that they will be euthanized. Like, kill shelters are not euthanizing cats left and right as they walk in the door. But there's a supply, supply and demand type of aspect where there's so much supply and so many cats. And certain ones, if they're not, you know, the healthiest or if they're not seeming to adjust and be able to deal with humans or they're just, like, super depressed, they they do have to do what they have to do and um that is very sad so we do promote adoptions at shelters and visiting the shelters and definitely give them a try and you know just just spend some time there sitting with the cats um and the shelter workers are amazing like i said they can really help you find your perfect pet as well all right so we are on the way and let's see what we can do The first stop before any of the cages is this little office checking out the cats that are free roaming. So this nervous little girl is Jazzy. Um, she's on our list, but we can't take her yet because she isn't ready to go. Um, but as Ryan was saying before, we love the quiet ones and the little scared ones because we like to bring them to the cafe and see them really blossom. So stay tuned for Jazzy's entrance into the cafe. So as you can see, there's a caution on this cage. Um, sometimes they get cautions when they first come in because cats can be nervous or scared. However, Wiley is not a caution cat at all by any means. He's the cutest, nicest little man that obviously we took with us. He's FIV positive, he's hyperthyroid, but we don't care, he's amazing.
time to pack up these babies and bring them on to the cafe. Okay, so it wasn't that sad. I mean, it was a little bit, but between us and almost home, the rescue, we had, I want to say, 28 to 30 cats on our list to take. So we were going to take 15 to the Shabby Tabby. Almost Home was going to take the rest to Almost Home. But as we were about to pack them up and put them in the car, they realized that a lot of the cats on our list and a lot of the cats that are there currently are not spayed or neutered. So we could have taken them, but that's really kind of risky and just kind of hard to have at the cafe. Um, but they put those cats on top of the vet appointment list. So I think they do a, a weekly vet appointment or maybe um, twice a week. So those cats will get spayed and neutered and all their shots updated um, next, which is probably within the next few days. And then next week we can go pick them up. So at least we know that they will be coming with us. We were able to get nine cats just now. I'm pretty sure we got nine, um, which is a good amount. It definitely is. I'm happy to have them. Uh, but there was a few really, really nice cats and a couple really scared cats that I really wanted to take, but we will get them next week. Uh, it is best just to have them all spayed and neutered before they come to us and all their shots they need to have. So I have, I think I have six or seven in my car right now. Elena and Melanie are behind me with a few other cats, so we're going to bring them to the cafe. And they're all pretty friendly, so I don't think we need anyone in cages, but we'll see how they adjust. Usually we just, just like put them in a cat tree or like put them somewhere to help them adjust. So, so I had to take the volume off of all these clips because our music was playing in the background and YouTube does not like that. So I have three cage cards from the shelter with me right now. Um, of the nine cats that we got, three of them, the only three girls actually that we have were pregnant, every single one. So please, please spay and neuter your animals. They don't deserve to be in a cage pregnant. Have a good night.